CTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, thanks for being here. We begin tonight in the Comox Valley where the saga of two Newfoundland dogs has gone on for more than a year but was supposed to come to an end today. Chum and Champ were seized after attacking a smaller dog. Their owners battled the SPCA and the regional district in court, demanding to have their pets returned. Eventually, a judge did rule that Champ was not dangerous and could go home. But what to do with Chum has launched a whole new legal battle. CTV's Gord Kerbis reports. RCMP were on standby in case tempers flared at a judge's decision today. But again, a ruling in the case of Chum the dog has been postponed. Well, I think both parties were hoping for a resolution today. The judge was very reasonable in allowing more time for both parties to, to sit down. Jacques Monceau's dogs, Chum and Champ, were seized in January of last year and have spent much of the time since then in the SPCA's custody. On January 16th, Champ was set free by a provincial court judge while Chum was labeled as dangerous. The judge gave lawyers 30 days to work out a deal on where she should live. The regional district believes she should be located with an anonymous couple on a five-acre rural waterfront location partway between the Comox Valley and Nanaimo. We've offered it before. We think it's a really good option. Uh, it would offer Chum a nice life, and we are hopeful that that would be accepted. But Manso's lawyer says her client can't accept those terms. There's no way without any details about where Chum would be released, uh, who this property owner is, their ability to care for Chum, not just any dog, but we're dealing with a 78-year-old Newfoundlander who has serious medical conditions. Chum supporters and the regional district had been working on a deal for the dog to live with this Nanaimo woman, but the deal collapsed. Melissa Buck says the conditions the regional district demanded went against her basic charter rights. Now Chum's lawyer says a new person has come forward wanting to help, someone else living outside Nanaimo city limits. She has an enormous amount of experience with big dogs and small dogs, and we're confident that this is the absolutely best place for Chum to go. But Troy D'Souza, the lawyer working on behalf of the regional district, says his client is rejecting that proposal. D'Souza made his appearance in the court by telephone. As the two sides argue, Chum remains at the SPCA, her health worsening. We're hoping even though the judge has given us 30 days uh, to set a date to appear back before him, we're hoping that we could find a date in the very new, near future. In today's proceedings, the judge made it clear regardless of where Chum ends up, the two dogs cannot live together. Failing reaching a deal, the judge still has another option he can go with, and that's to have the dog destroyed. Ward Kerbis, CTV News, Courtney.